I'm gonna be voting on like the game of the year awards. A little context. This year I haven't really played that many games. Um we've been watching a lot of games. Just wanna have time uh, and all that. But like usually I don't I don't play games all that often anymore. I still like to keep up with them. Again, like you know, watching stuff, but really play. No, I don't know how much help I'll be able to be here. But let's have a look. How does this work? Okay, now they do have pictures. I just so game of the year is like literally the first one. Well, that's a spicy one to start off with. Um, damn. Let's see. What what do I want to vote here? What do we have? Metaphor Fantasio. I found out about this game. What? Is this like some like turn-based thingy, right? Like kind of like Persona or something like that? I don't know. Um, not like the... What's the new one? The one that's like turn-based. The new Persona. Anyway, I don't know. Again, I don't keep up with games that much. So, yeah, especially with series that like I haven't played before, like Persona. So Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I've seen some cutscenes from that game. That game looks sick. And this is like... 7 is like a big... It, it's a it's a big one. Like with the story, the characters, like... Everyone is in that, that you love about Final Fantasy. Elden Ring. Black Mefu Kong. What a game. Balatro. Man, I've seen this game. I'm surprised. Like... An indie... What is this game called again? I don't know. Like an indie like type of puzzle game. Strategy, whatever, right? It's like so big. Because like, I've seen it. I think I've seen it like before it came out, like in beta. But then afterwards I've seen like, you know, like Northern Line and stuff I'm still playing it. And it was like a sick, you know, indie game. Um but never going into it. So I don't know. So what do we have? Um Ultimus, I can't really say much on any of these. Because I haven't played any of them. I watched Black Mifu Kong, that looks sick. I know but I played Elder Ring, but not the DLC. I've seen the DLC, it looks uh pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. Final Fantasy, I don't play that series, I don't care. Metaphor in Fantasio, again, I've only heard about it. Balatro, I've only heard about it. I don't know what Astro Bot is. It's like in every category. It's like I've already watched like the video for like the nominees. Which is why there's going to be a section coming up. Which is uh, relevant to this channel, I suppose. But yeah, well, what do I do here? Hmm, I'm blanking Full Kong was really good. I'll just go next. I'm not gonna vote on any since I don't know the games. Best game direction. Wait, it's the same games. Bruh. I work for a standing creative vision and innovation in game direction and design. Well, <laughs> I, again, I don't know what Astrobot is and I haven't seen much Metaphor Fantasio. But like all of these other games, they look like, you know, modern versions of like stuff that already exists. Like, nothing crazy, right? So... Creative vision and innovation in game direction and design. So yeah, I don't feel like any of these ones like the best. Best narrative. Narrative. Well, I mean, I'm just kind of biased here because I'm really into horror. Like the whole horror genre. Hmm. I don't know what this game is. I know it's a Saga Hellblade 2. It's like, um... You want a boy? Like, like, they got nominated a bunch of times. But, like, I don't know what that is. I'm just gonna do Silent Hill. It's just like... It was so good. God, what a game. Best art direction. I mean, in my opinion, that I think that just goes towards Black Man Fukong. If you play this at like max everything, it goes crazy. 
So yeah, again, it's like nothing special, but like at max, it looks kind of special, you know? Best choral music, Silent Hill 2, I don't care. It could be Final Fantasy 7. Music in Final Fantasy is usually really good. It could be Cellar Blade. Because that's like what Shift of does really well, music. But I haven't seen or played some games. It's only PS5, right? Man, if this game was PC, I would have played that. <laughs> Let me tell you. Um, I don't know. Silent Hill 2. Yeah, let's go for that, why not? Do you just like the re reimagining of the songs? Of the original Silent Hill 2 songs is so good. Audio design. Again, I don't know. I mean, you think Call of Duty would have a really good audio design because it's a shooter, right? But The best? I don't know. Silent Hill 2? I mean, the monster sounds weren't that crazy sounding. I don't think. Um, but again, I haven't heard the guns in Black Ops 6 or like much of any of these other games. I'm just going to skip. Because I don't know. Um, Sure. This guy was sick. Inside Hell 2. Innovation and accessibility. I don't know. <laughs> Great, I guess. Games for impact. No idea. I do not care. Best ongoing. Bro, how is Destiny 2 on this list at this point? Like, come on, bro. Final Fantasy 14, Diablo 4, Blood Diablo. <laughs> Diablo's a game. I'll tell you that much. L Divers 2, but, but like with all the drama shit I has, I don't know. It's an interesting one. I'm pretty sure, like, generally, it's literally Final Fantasy 14, but. Uh, I don't know. They just held levels, just because it's a really good game. Or it was anyway. Best community support. Yeah. Baldur's Gate 3. That's a game. The community has definitely done something to that game, I'll tell you that much. And then No Man's Sky, bro, like, how oh, is this game still alive? I don't, I'm not gonna select anything. Independent game. Do I know any of these ones? Balatru. Sure, I mean, that's what's probably gonna win anyway. Best d debut in the game. But Man of Lords is... It's good. Like, it does itch that, like... I don't know. Like, tycoon build building... Resource managing thingy, right? It's just, like... It's a concept that's already been done many, many times. And, like... I don't know. It doesn't look that much different from other games. So... I don't know. Balatro. Best mobile game. Now, <laughs> here is where it gets interesting. Because Water and Waves, Zelda Zone Zero, and FK Journey. <sighs> now, also, surely they could have given them like different pictures, right? Like, come on. Um, bruh. Okay, so I was saying, Modern Horizon Zelda Zone Zero. And also FK Journey's here, let's not forget about that. But, it's also up against Balatro and Pokemon. Like... Balatro is just like one of the biggest games right now, and then Pokemon is Pokemon. So like... In my opinion, I'm like thinking, do these games have any chance? Like... I don't know, bro. Now, one thing, because they got nominated, we, we should get something. I swear, it's like, uh, a lot. We should get a lot, actually. Not something, I should say. But, like, come on, man. And especially if they win, fuck, we better get, like, a million characters. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, it's just, like, it's a weird one, bro. Like, is it gonna win? 
It's also like wooden waves. And Zen Zone Zero, I feel like hasn't broken that like um like mass media what 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 do you call it? Like normy, you know, media. Like Genshin and Honka Sara, right? So it's just like I feel like their fan base is just not big enough against these things. And to be honest, even maybe against the FK Journey. I ain't gonna cap. AFK Journey is a big one. And that may be the winner. But who knows? But anyway, whatever happens, happens. Well, hopefully, we get some big rewards. Please. Kuro Games, whoever. Just pick up the penny that you have in a vault and throw it at us, you know? Uh, but anyway, let's talk about my vote. So it's between Water and Waves and Zelda Zone Zero, because that's like the only games I've been playing recently, right? Straight up. Now, the problem here, best mobile game for the best game playable on a mobile device. Now, that's where I am going to base my opinion on, right? Because if it was like just game of the year and it was in Zone Zero and Water Waves, I would pick Water Waves, right? But on a mobile device, Zen Zone Zero is a lot nicer. And to be honest, like actually playable. Like the thing is with Zen Zone Zero, right? It's like you don't have to be a mobile gamer to play that. But for all the modern ways, you have to be. Because she's like, there's so many buttons. There's like combos that you have to pull off. Like, it's kind of. It's not the easiest game to play on mobile device. And also, like, I have upgraded my phone recently, thankfully. So I have a new one. But, like, on my old phone, it was, it was, it was not great. And even on my new one, I still play a lot, like, kind of low graphics to get some FPS, right? It's just, like, whatever is just a PC game. This, this game ain't no mobile game. That's all I'm going to say. And there's another reason that like doesn't have to do with it being a mobile game is that with water and waves right it's just like every patch when the patch comes out you're having fun for like maybe like two or three days maybe a week maybe because of the like elusive realm but with zenless home zero for me i don't know why well i know why i'm excited to log in every day and do the dailies and all that you know i don't know <laughs> It's just something about it, right? And like, when there's a new patch, you know, I expect like, you know, the really good cutscenes, the really good, you know, like comic panels, the really good, you know, art, you know, characters, funny, haha, you know, all of that. But what are the ways? I'm always like at the start of a new patch, right? Like right now, I'm still, I haven't done the Camellia Quest, so I don't know if that's cinema yet or not. It's probably going to be, but always with what are ways, I'm thinking like, is the story for this game actually gonna be something that I'm gonna enjoy more than Zelda Zone Zero? Because if it's for Zelda Zone Zero, I know what I'm gonna get because they've been like delivering on that every patch. It's 1.0. But in modern ways, you know, Shorekeeper, that was sick. You know, Roll Black Shores, really good. Um, you know, Changli Store Mission, that was that was okay. So, something. Uh, the Jinshi mission, the like whole 1.2 mission, that was really good. Um, with one firmament. And then we have like 1.1 with the like, um, no, actually 1.1 was one firmament. And then 1.2 was the festival. Festival, like who, Zhang Liao, Zhejie, who are they really? Um, like they just came out of nowhere, of, you know, and there's not much else to say really. Um, and then 1.0 was a little bit of a mess with the like voice direction, voicing, all of that, right? So because of that, I will be picking Zen Zone Zero. Now, Zen Zone Zero is not going to win. Like, there's no way. If a game out of these three, IFK, Water Waves, Zen Zone Zero is going to win, it's going to be Water Waves, I think. Because um, it is generally a better game. But you have to think of it on a mobile device. N nah, it ain't. It's just not. And to be honest, even AFK Journey is better than both of these two on mobile devices, just because it's like, it's an auto-battler, like, you don't need to play the game, you know? So yeah, it's just like, it's an interesting one. 
but like you have those things to think about being, being a mobile device but you have to think about these other two games as well like you're going up against some pretty big hitters you know uh, and you know like gacha games have this like stigma against them because they're gacha games they're predatory they're all that so you know people just don't like gacha games and they may just vote for something else out of spite that could happen um there's a bunch of that and for Zenland Zone Zero especially, there's a lot of hate on like, you know, not on YouTube, but like on TikTok and a little bit of Instagram and stuff like that. It's like a Kumar game and people don't like it because of that. So they're not going to look at the cutscenes, they're going to look at the fun characters, at the like fun combat, all of that. They're just going to look at, oh, it's a gunning, the gunning game. Fuck that. Um, but yeah, it's kind of sad that Zenland Zone Zero is not going to win, but there you go. What can you do? It's gonna make win in my heart as a mobile game. It's a little bit more enjoyable to play on mobile than Dream Waves. <laughs> What's this? VR. What's a VR headset? I do not have the money for that. Um best action game. Shit. I really want to play stellar game, bro, to see how that game is. I would like watch it, but like watching a, a like a playthrough in 2024 is just like, oh my god, it's so long. Um, but yeah, Black Mefu Kong. You know, I'm just gonna put Stellar Blade just for the gooner inside of me. Uh, best action adventure. I, mean, I don't know any of these other games, so Silent Hill 2. Best RPG. Like a dragon. I inform it's gonna be Elden Ring. Best fighting. Yeah, fighting games. So much fun. Yeah, family games. Okay, best sim strategy. Now, again, I've been playing games too much this, these uh, months, let's say. But like, it's Frostpunk too, bro. There's no way this shit's bad. So, you know, you know what it is. And best sports are slay racing. I'm just gonna select F1 just because fuck sports and games. Um, best multiplayer. I was thinking about this. How is Mario Party Jamboree on here? Like, I know it's multiplayer, but like, no one's playing that multiplayer. You're only playing it with friends or by yourself, which I know is kind of sad, but I mean, there you go. Um, now Call of Duty. There's something to be said about that. Helldivers 2. That's also pretty good. Yeah, just Helldivers 2 for me. Best adaptation. Now, what the fuck? What's Knuckles? Like, how is that on here? That's crazy. Fallout it was mid. Mid as fun. Well, I mean, it was like funny and cool and gory and all that. But it was like, it was, it was alright. Um, and like, to be honest, I wouldn't know how to make it better to represent Fallout. Which is like, I don't know. It was like, okay. I wasn't like dying over this show, you know? Um, so, saying that, I'm gonna pick Arcane. Because, I mean, it's just, it's Arcane, bro. That's, like, the best show, like, ever made. Most anticipated games. Um. Now, bro, why do you have to be GTA 6, man? Guess most Monster Hunter Wilds. Because there is a chance that I'm gonna be putting more hours in GTA 6 than Monster Hunter Wilds. Basically, what that means, most of the ones gonna have 500 and GTA 6 is gonna have like 1000. But. Shit, man. I don't know. Death Stranding 2 is also a shout. You 
You know, but you have to think most anticipated. Okay, recognizing an announced game that has demonstra demonstrably illustrated potential to push the gaming medium forward. Well, I mean, it's GTA 6, it always like GTA always pushes in the limits. Yeah, it's just GTA 6. I'm more excited about it than Monster Hunter Worlds, unfortunately. In terms of like, I know what Monster Hunter Worlds is gonna be. I don't know what GTA 6 is gonna be, you know what I'm saying? Like, there may be some wild stuff. With, you know, the general GTA stuff, but well, we'll see. I'm really excited for GTA 6. Right now. <laughs> uh, but the, the, like the Pecora picture, that's funny as fuck. <laughs> but I mean, okay, so. Yeah, whenever I see the guy pop up on my like Instagram or TikTok, I always like watch the full clip. Best esports game. League of Legends is really hype, man. But so is CS2, but I haven't watched CS2 in a while. It's not for League of Legends. It's, uh, League of Legends is so hype. Like, come on. Now, for me here, it's between Zaiwu and Alexi B. That's like Faker and Chovy, right? But it's just like. I think I would like to put Alexa B on that because like this guy has fallen down hard ever since he's like this in uh, that Finnish team what was it ends or something like that ever since then he hasn't come back whenever Daiwa went to Navi he blew up but then there's also Zaibu which is basically the like best CS player of our time like after simple right after simple one time, this guy came in and took his place basically. It is faker. She's like, it's faker, you know, like. Anchovy. You know, I did watch a little bit of Wars though. Anchovy has been like. I don't know, he hasn't been farming every minion, you know, like he usually does. So that's kind of weird. Because I'm gonna do. Zai Wu, I guess. No, faker. Yeah, it's just it's faker, man. Like, come on. Why am, I thinking of, why am I even thinking about it? No, I'm just gonna put Navi, because once they had a Romanian guy on there, and I'm Romanian, so I like that. Alright. Three chances to vote. Blah blah blah. Okay, that's about it. That's gonna be my nominations. For the ones that I left out, I don't care, it's fine. Well actually wait. I might go back to like the audio one. Can I go put Silent Hill 2 on here? Because I actually know the game. What else was it? Best game direction. No. Game of the year, no. Games for impact, no. Good community support, no. I should, you see, for this one, speaking of Stellar Blade, but like I can't. Silent Hill 2 music is too good. Fighting family. Okay, yeah, I'm cool with that. Sure. There we go. That was an interesting one. We'll see who wins now. And if Zenless Ozer and Wonder Ways win, I'm expecting big, big rewards. But if, even just because I got nominated, I'm expecting rewards. Big rewards. So hopefully that's going to be fun. Uh, but yeah, I'm trying to stay positive. But I don't think they have a chance of winning against those other three. Like, what is the Zenless Ozer? Okay, Zenless Ozer is like, it's not even in the question. What Wonder Ways like? Let's think about that. Is Water and Waves gonna beat FK Journey Pokemon? Or um How is it in Balatro? Like no, I don't think so. There's no way. 
Because things everyone knows who ba what Balatro is, because like the best game right now, right? And everyone knows what Pokemon is. And probably more people play that than like these actual gacha games. So yeah, we'll see. Man, that's about it. Go vote. Vote for Zenless Zero. <laughs> uh. Yeah, that's about it.